Last week, I was in Austin, Texas, visiting family. I stayed with my cousin, Lucy. Hey. <laughs> Lucy loves to drink coffee with creamer. Her favorite brand is Dunkin' Donuts, extra, extra sweet. It's thick, it's creamy. It tastes like coffee ice cream, which is what I'm going for. She asked me to recommend a non-dairy creamer. I take my coffee black, so I don't know anything about it. I should say as a disclaimer, this is not an exhaustive review of every brand on the market. We bought what we could find at the grocery stores near her house, H-E-B and Fiesta. Some of these aren't trying to replicate creamers, but we included them anyway. We also bought some vegan ice cream and had my cousin Casey do a blind taste test. He likes Natamu. Anyway, back to the coffee creamers. Our first contestant is Milkadamia Latte Da. You don't use one? Ah, hell. Sorry, this onion fell in your um, granola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right in the bowl. <laughs> yeah. See, this doesn't scream half and half. Look at those little white dots. I don't know. It works. It's good, Duncan. Okay, you don't have to say that you like it. I mean, I'm, to make me happy. I don't think it's better than coffee creamer. Okay. So what qualities are you missing? It's not thick enough. Okay. And it just has this like really like vegan-esque, like light, airy, um, kind of fake taste, but in a good mm. way. Okay. Does this have a comparable sweetness level? No, not at all. So you would and need it doesn't more... like have a thickness level. It's just not you can't really compare it to Dunkin' Donuts. Right. But on its own, it's good. So the sugar level, is that something that you want to replicate, or is it, or are you like, more looking really for mind. the texture? I can always just put sugar in it. Yeah. But I'm really looking for the texture, like a, like nice, creamy, thick. I just don't think that exists out there in the vegan world. But after I'm trying hopeful. one, I'm hopeful. Yeah. All right. Back to the drawing board. Let's just take a couple of deep breaths here to finish up our practice. Inhale, reach up to the sky, filling the lungs with oxygen. And exhale, bringing the hands to your third eye first. Silk. Silk my ass. Let's see here. Hmm, this seems promising. But so did that. Let's keep our expectations <laughs> real low. Ooh. I feel it. Trying to interpret that facial expression. <laughs> we went through a range there. It's like, I'm disgusted. I don't know, maybe I like this. Uh, I'm not confusing. sure what life means anymore. I like the color. Um. It's not bad. It's really not bad. It's not bad. I like the Dunkin' Donuts one better, but maybe if I put sugar in it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. This is this is alright. Alright. Silk coffee creamer. This is alright. <laughs> Lucy Skiles 2018. Wanna go outside? Yeah, let's do it. You believe that animals should be free from unnecessary harm, right? Yes. Okay. Cruel and unusual punishment. Have you ever seen what goes on at a dairy farm? Unfortunately, I have. Okay. Here's my issue, which is a terrible, it's not even an issue, but it's like a, it's a helpless feeling because regardless of whether or not I drink Dunkin' Donuts, that still goes on. Right. And, and, and is my contributing to that gonna make any effect on whether or not that goes on so whatsoever and yeah maybe that's like a a cop out like it doesn't matter anyway so I might as well mm. but it's a it's a helpless feeling because whether or not I drink Dunkin Donuts that's still gonna go on yeah but just logically right mathematically you are one person right making one person's worth of dif difference with every decision that you make right and 15 years ago, 20 years ago, do you remember having any kind of non-dairy milk in HEB? No. Now there's like a whole section for it. Right. This soy creamer just came yeah. out probably within the last five years or so. Yeah. And that's because more and more people are making the decision to move away. So one person makes one person's worth of difference, which right. is not that big, but one person with many other one people right. no, is I, making a difference. And 
don't get me wrong, like, I understand how terrible that argument is. Like, well, it doesn't make a difference anyway, so I might as well do it. I mean, you could say that about, like, child pornography or something. Right. <laughs> it doesn't make it right. So you, sh you shouldn't do it regardless of whether or not it has, like, an impact or not. But it, it is still a helpless feeling knowing that regardless of whether or not I sacrifice delicious delicious cheese melty cheese hey we're just talking about coffee cream right coffee. Now, yeah. <laughs> okay yeah, Dunkin' Donuts yeah, let's not expand the scope like it doesn't matter but you're right like I know in my heart and it doesn't just because it doesn't matter doesn't mean that it's right I abstain from animal products because I don't want to contribute to the cruelty that goes into that but yeah I'm in Texas, anywhere I go. It's everywhere. Right. It's everywhere. It's it's just so common. It's so much part of our culture. It seems... That something must be wrong with you. <laughs> that something's wrong with me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pro, I, you know, you, you get a lot right. of that. You might be right. <laughs> you know, I, you, you've convinced me. That's it. Well, that's the Why reaction. Why do we get the milk? <laughs> that's the reaction that you get a lot of times, I would imagine, is... What? You're vegan? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like, something must be wrong with you. Uh, because anyway. it's so far out of the norm. Right. Yeah. But I recognize in you, in 99% of people, like, we don't want to hurt animals. That's a, right. that's a basic feeling. Right, totally. The system is set up, though, that we're separated yeah. from what goes into the production of our food. Right. And as long as we don't see it, it doesn't exist. So th I think like that it, part of it, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Right, right. If if we look at it with clear eyes about mm -hmm. the truth behind it, it seems the extreme take is to participate in that system. To right. Me, for me, like if I saw somebody hitting a dog across the street, right, you would do something about it. Yeah, and if and when I see these videos of cows being abused on dairy farms, it's like, well, that's not in line with my values. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do my best in trying not to support that. Right. Like, there's this um, documentary that I uh, that I haven't seen on Netflix, but it's this picture of this lion behind bars. And, like, I won't watch it because I know it's just going to make me really sad. Yeah. And it's also going to make me feel even more helpless about it. And so it's really easy to be out of sight, out of mind about those kinds of things because right. it's so ugly and atrocious. And, like, I commend you for... for going outside of that norm and putting up with uh, the reactions that you get because even if you're not an annoying vegan about it and you're not imposing it on people when people inquire about your your way of life mm. and and you answer honestly they still are like oh, think that you're a weirdo <laughs> you know everybody knows it already so it's right. like even when i try to downplay it <laughs> yeah. When we were at the lake and Chris's family came over, like the first thing she said, this is Duncan, he's a vegan. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is really funny. But I do remember growing up, like thinking that you were such a weirdo when you would put like juice in your cereal. You know, oh, what yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Well, that is weird. Like, and that doesn't so have hardcore. anything to do with being vegetarian <laughs> or vegan. I was a little bit of a dick. Uh, growing up I remember a scene with Casey at the mall and he was like eating a hamburger and I was like how's your dead cow <laughs> that ain't cool <laughs> and nothing is wrong I'm not saying there is oh I don't Absolutely. think there is I, 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 I think, don't either I think that the norm is is duh yeah I agree with you here this is yours All right. nice and simple so we're just having a couple coffees at 11 p.m. <laughs> As one does. Ooh. Oof. Yeah. That is thick. That is super thick. Oh, God, that's horrible. <laughs> Fuck, man. I hope it's better with coffee. Ugh. God, that was bad. I'm never getting this again. Ever. Well, you gotta drink that whole bottle. <laughs> I'll give it to my neighbors. I mean, it tastes better with coffee. I, I don't think we've tried this one. Okay. This is a uh, coffee mate. Coconut creamer. Sort of creamy. Let's see how it 
looks like coffee. So. Well, it doesn't stir very well. Usually you have to stir for something to Usually stir well. you have to stir for something to stir well. It's okay, I can dig it. You can dig it. I can dig it. It's uh, not Dunkin' Donuts, but it's pretty damn close. Let's see here. Liked it, didn't like it, hated it, liked it, loved it. Great, so that makes Silk Soy Creamer the winner. Yeah. Do you think? Boom. And then this is a close second. Okay. For sure. Like if this and this had a baby, I'd be okay. Maybe I'll just Maybe you mix can mix them. them. Yeah. Maybe you could do this one, but with more sugar. No, so this one is sweeter and tastes more like Dunkin's taste, but this has the texture of Dunkin's. So I'll just put mm. sugar in this and call it a day. All right. Because I think I like this one the most. Would you be happy with that instead of the Dunkin' Donuts creamer? Absolutely, Dunkin'. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. Cheers to that. Cheers, yeehaw. Um, thanks for showing me, I, I really do like it. Hey, thanks for participating, that was fun. Cool, so um, I'm gonna leave all these at your place. Thanks, man, I appreciate I it. I like this for cereal, by the way. The this is milk? great for cereal. Yeah. Um, coffee, I just like something thicker, but I like this stuff. Yeah. I just don't like this. The Califia almond? It tastes better with coffee by itself, it's gross. Okay. This is all right, but it's not, I like the packaging more yeah, than I like the Yeah, this one's the packaging inside. price. Yeah, all right, well, I want you to make sure that you consume all of this stuff. I will. Or my feelings will be hurt. I'm gonna document the whole thing, too. Great. It's gonna be awesome. Looking forward to it. Okay. Sequel. Bye. Bye.